Let's face it, the healthcare industry can be overwhelming. The list of rules and terms can feel longer than getting through that last class of the day. But the more you know about how your healthcare plan works, the more your health plan can work for you. No matter what TRS health plan you have, knowing how to use your benefits will help you get the most from your plan. TRS provides you, our participants, with reliable, easy to use healthcare benefits. We're here to help you use those benefits wisely. This video series has two chapters, what you pay and when you go. What you pay explains how and when you must pay for your care and when your plan pays. We'll explain how your deductible, coinsurance, and co-pays affect the money you pay for your care, and we'll cover what maximum out-of-pocket means. When you go explains the difference between in-network and out-of-network, when you need a referral or prior authorization, and the difference between preventative and diagnostic care. Let's look at what you pay. Premiums are the monthly amount you pay for healthcare coverage. What you pay in monthly premiums depends on your plan, TRS Active Care or TRS Care. If you're enrolled in TRS Active Care, TRS sets a premium for your employer that considers what the plan paid in claims the year before and overall healthcare market pricing. The total premium also has a buffer for unexpected costs, say like a pandemic. When TRS sets total premiums each year, employers decide how much they contribute to that set total. What's left is the amount you pay each month. What you pay for TRS care premiums is determined by your Medicare status. These premiums are set by TRS and you pay that premium directly to TRS. If you are Medicare eligible, you may have to pay an additional Part B premium as well, which depends on your income. The Part B premium is paid directly to Medicare. The deductible is the amount you pay for covered healthcare services before your health plan starts to pay. Keep in mind that your plan covers certain preventative care benefits at 100%, even before you meet your deductible. This includes things like your annual physical, cancer screenings, and annual immunizations. Also, the way some plans are structured, you may have to pay a copay or a fixed amount for a service before meeting your deductible. The copay chapter will tell you more. Your coinsurance is the amount you pay for services after you have met your deductible. It's often a specific percentage of the costs. For example, you could pay 30% in coinsurance and your health plan could pay the remaining 70%. So if that was your coinsurance rate and you were to get an MRI that costs $450 and you've already met your deductible, your health plan would pay $315 and you would pay $135. Your copay is the fixed amount you pay for a covered service when you get it. Your copay can vary from one provider to another. For example, a primary care doctor visit typically has a lower copay than a visit to a specialist, such as a cardiologist. Keep in mind, copays generally do not count towards your deductible. Your maximum out of pocket is the most you will have to pay each plan year for medical costs. Once you reach that number, your health plan pays 100% of allowable charges for covered services for the rest of the plan year. That includes every healthcare expenditure you have, even copays. When you go to your provider, there are other terms it's good to know. These can impact what you pay. In-network providers are contracted to give you medical services at a rate that's been negotiated between them and the insurance company. Using in-network providers is often the least expensive option. Going to out-of-network providers usually costs much more, and sometimes your plan won't pay anything, and you'll have to pay the whole bill. Emergency care is always considered in-network. If you have an emergency and need to use an out-of-network ER, it's still covered at an in-network rate. A referral is written permission from your primary care provider for you to see a different in-network provider, specialist, or facility. If you need a referral, check with your provider to see how they handle the process. Prior authorization is when your health plan requires approval for certain medical procedures or treatments before you get them or within 48 hours of emergency treatment. Checking in with your insurance provider is often the fastest way to help you determine whether or not you need prior authorization for a procedure. Preventative care includes routine screenings, checkups, and patient counseling to prevent illness, disease, or other health problems. 
Medical professionals advise you to seek a wellness visit once a year. Preventative care is the easiest and most cost-effective way to stay healthy. Diagnostic care is the monitoring and or treatment of a potential disease or condition. If your visit results in the diagnosis of a condition or treatment of an existing condition, your visit is diagnostic. For example, if your provider wants you to have a colonoscopy because of symptoms you're having, that would be diagnostic care. Healthcare can be overwhelming. But remember, TRS is always here to answer your questions and empower you to make the most of your benefits.